Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Mario 64. I almost said Paper Mario the Origami King. Almost. So, welcome back to another episode of Mario 64, the 3D All-Stars Collection. Uh, last time we left off, I never got all of the 100 coins here, and also we have the Mario Wings to the Sky here mission to do. So I thought I would come back in here, collect a bunch of coins, and then we could hop right into this. So we can do this mission, and this will also help us get the 100 coins that we oh so desperately need. I should have used the cannon, I should not have just walked off the edge like a fool. Let's go over here and use the cannon. Get in there, Mario. Alrighty. So, we want to shoot, like, basically right in the middle of these. And then that sends us up there. So we have 79 coins right now. I... I missed one bob -omb coin. I hope that doesn't screw me out of getting the, um... 100 coins. We need 20 more, and I think there's 20 hanging out up here. Should be. So, let's hope together. Okay, there's another one of those that I needed. Let's try to turn around here and just kind of glide into the last one there. Got it. Yeah, there's... I think there's definitely enough coins up here. I think at least. It certainly looks that way. Fortunately, the render distance on him is a little uh, weird. So uh, we can't we can't see exactly how many are left there in the air, but I think we're good. Uh, oh no, I didn't have the wing cap. I, I didn't I didn't realize my wing cap had worn off. Well, I don't want to grab that yet because I've worked very hard to collect these coins that I have collected. So I guess I just want to get back up there. Come on, we want to go ahead and polish off. Uh, this particular level so we can get on to some other ones. I don't think I can make the tree from here. But let's find out. Not quite. Not quite. Oh well. We should be able to use this cannon to get up there. I believe. I think I did it last time, in fact. I'm- it's just... How exactly to do it, like how much I should be up. Oh man, with this joystick, this is weird. Okay, I think it's like that. Ah, oh, just barely over. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. But that is my middle name, is unfortunate. I say it enough for it to be my middle name, that's for sure. I don't- I- I feel like that's one of the things I've picked up on that I say just a lot when LPing and just like talking like this, is I say unfortunate a lot. Like, how unfortunate? It's just one of those things I picked up, I guess. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We did not grab the wing cap. With this. We need the wing cap. Uh, that's the star. No, we need the wing cap. There we go. Gimme, gimme. Alright, so, in here we go. And let's just shoot ourselves off into the sky, and hopefully we can get the last of these coins. Let's just go ahead and grab these. There we go. So now we should be able to dive down a little bit and grab some more... Eh. Nope. Alright. We're just- we're gonna keep doing this until I get ten more. I know there's ten more up there. Let's aim a little bit high over these now. So we can shoot for some of the higher coins. Ah, I barely missed those. I'm just happy I finished the wing cap course, because honestly the wing cap course was the thing that intimidated me the most about playing this. Um, there we go, that's what I wanted to do. Let's, let's just do a simple jump now. Ah. Unless Mario doesn't want to do the triple jump. Damn you, Mario. Why must you do this to me? Ugh. Yeah, I always found it was rough for me to uh, get the triple jump to go off sometimes in Mario 64. I always had a little bit of a hard time with that. Um, especially on, like, the DS's circle pad. Okay, can we get back over there with this wing cap? No, we can't. It ran out. Well, we're gonna have to shoot back over there with our cannon friend. 
Uh, maybe, maybe I should just, maybe I should just cut here until I get the last of these because this is a, this is becoming a pain. You know what? I am. I'll see you when I get these last few coins from shooting myself into the sky repeatedly. And I just did the stupid thing again. Ignore that. Cut that out, me. Alright, this might be the final shot here that I need to take. I just need one coin. One coin. That's all I need. I just need one. Just give me one coin. There it is. I even see it, but no, I'm losing altitude. Okay, we'll turn around. There's there's more back here. Come on, where are they, where are they at? There's one. <gasps> Got it. Alright, now I just need to actually get this stupid star. <laughs> So, let's just shoot out of this, I suppose. And we should be able to shoot right into the star and uh, get it. Got it. That's quite a fall. <laughs> there we go. So we've got that. That is 100 coins in bob -omb Battlefield now, finally. And now let's go over here and grab the last star for this level. Where are you? Over there. Yes. The final power star in bob -omb Battlefield. Here we go! Hooray. Cool, cool. So, <laughs> that took longer than I would have liked, but we did it. Alright, so now we can go to one of my favorite levels in the entire game, actually. Um... Isn't one of these one of these rooms has a secret, right? Where was it? I don't remember which room it was. One of them has like a secret. I think it's oh, it's Jolly Roger Bay. Yeah. So we're gonna go over here. I do not like Cool Cool Mountain. So uh, or is that Cool Cool Mountain or Snowman Snowman Land? I think that's Cool Cool Mountain, the first one. So we're gonna go to Jolly Roger Bay first because this place is beautiful and I love it. Every single thing about it. Hi, Toad. What's up? The names of the stars are also hints for finding them. They're displayed in the beginning of each course. You can collect the stars in any order. You won't find some stars, enemies, or items unless you select a specify specific star. After you collect some stars, you can try another course. We're all waiting for your help. Uh, yep. I know we get a, a star from Toad at some point. But, uh, yeah. Up here. If Mario will do it correctly. There we go. Get in there, Mario. Alright, so... Another one of the, uh, my favorite levels here. And this one's like a little secret level. Always really cool. I like this level quite a bit. I gotta wonder, did they fix the bug that's in Mario 64 where you regain health when you, uh, come out of water? That was one of the things I was curious about this, because that was a bug in the original game. You weren't supposed to just heal by putting Mario underwater and then coming back up. As far as I understand, it was basically a glitch because your health also acts as your health uh, as your breath meter. So when you came back up and got a thing of air, it refilled the meter, but that's also your life. So I wonder if they fixed that in this version of the game. Be curious to see that, because it was a pretty useful little bug in uh, Mario 64, just being able to hop in the water and get a free heal. Um, no. I think all we have to do in this level is just collect the uh, red coins. There's not like 100 coins in here or anything. So, swimming in this water also makes me super, super excited for Mario Sunshine. It's been so many years since I've played that, and I have so many good memories with that game. So I'm going to be really, really excited to start that one in particular. Galaxy will be quite fun too, but Sunshine is definitely where my heart lays in um, this trio of 3D Marios, at least. I think Odyssey is probably my second favorite 3D Mario, if not my favorite. It's just so good. I love it so much. All right, so... Plunder in the Sunken Ship. I believe I remember this mission. And here's this amazing song that I talked about that was also in the last level, but I didn't comment on it. Uh, I don't know why I'm getting this. I thought it was something interesting, like maybe a one-up or something, but no. Um, but yeah, this is probably one of my favorite levels. Um, I absolutely love the uh, music here, the ambiance, everything about it. It's just beautiful and amazing. So, 
All right, so if I remember correctly, we have to go down here. And we have to lure our good friend, the eel, out of this ship. How exactly we do- Ooh, um, That doesn't feel intentional. That doesn't feel intentional one bit. I like, teleported? I'm not crazy, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just teleported there. Come on out. Get out here. I don't remember how you actually get him to come out. Oh jeez, we're gonna die. Uh, uh. Breathe, Mario. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember exactly how you get him to come out. I thought you just had to get close to him. And then he would just sort of float on out. Um... Hmm. Friend? I'm gonna need you to come out of there, because I need in that boat. I need in that boat. Friend. Come on. There's a- there's a very yummy Mario waiting right here for you. Nothing? Hmm. He's supposed to come out. Uh... Well, we definitely need to go up and get some health back, so I'm gonna go do that. Yeah, I don't remember what exactly you need to do to get him to... come up. Let's see if the bug exists. The bug does indeed still exist. Confirmed. Best bug in the game. <laughs> I'm glad they I'm glad they kept that in, because I'm super reliant on that. Oh, are you gone now? Okay. Well that's useful. Alright, so here we are. We're in the ship. You gotta open these chests in a certain order, and boy do I not remember the order. So this is gonna be fun. Uh, ow. Alright, I think that hurts me too. Um... Okay, we can't get that, so I'm, I just need to find the correct... Ow. Because one of them has a bubble in it. Oh no, Mario, you went up when I wanted you to go down. And you drowned. You drowned for your sins, Mario. This is honestly all your fault. I can't believe you did this to me. Yeah, I didn't remember which one it is, but I'm pretty sure when they open, they give you a, a breathing bubble. So you get all your breath back, but I'll meet you back down there. Okay, it seems all you have to do, like, to get him to come out consistently, all I did was go down here, look at him, and then just go back up and grab air. And it seems like that makes him move just about every time, so... Good to know. Um... All right, so we tried that one, and we tried the one in the middle. We did not try the one over here. Let's... Are you it? Hi. You are not it. So it's the one over there. It's you. Okay. Open. Give me that. Yes. Okay, now what? Is it you? It is you. Okay. Some more, and then is it you, or is it the one in the middle? It's, okay, it's you, and then it's the one in the middle. So, gimme, gimme. Cool, drain that water. And that also raises the ship for later levels, if I remember correctly, which is uh, pretty useful. I mean, we wouldn't be able to do the level without uh, the ship being raised. Oh jeez. Mario, no, Mar Mario, please, Mar Mario, Mar Mar Mario, Mario. Why? <laughs> Come on. All you had to do was hold on, man. Just, just falling. Uh, stop, stop. Gosh. You're a plumber and you can't deal with slick surfaces? What's with you? It's not as bad as uh, Sunshine's, like, angle physics, God. I remember, like, just feeling like I got robbed so many time in, times in Sunshine from, like, just just falling for whatever reason. Mario's like, nope, nope, that slope's, that slope's too slanted. Can't do it. And they just he just slides down like an idiot. Alright, come on. No, that wasn't even enough? See, this is why I wanted to eat up there when the water was still here. It's much easier. Because now Mario just slides off like an idiot. Like... This stuff's covered in car wax or something. Alright. Oh. Oh my god, even the sides. 
Mario, you slidey, slidey bastard. And then you couldn't even make that- they call you Jump Man, and that's the furthest you can jump. Ugh. Come on, get up there. Okay. We're up here. Then there. Okay. Evidently, we can't make that with a backwards jump. So... Jump. Oh, jeez, you smacked your face on that thing. Ugh. Get up there. Go- no. Go. Grab it. Use your hands, you fool! <laughs> Damn it! Mario, please. One job. One job is all you have. Okay. Come on. We're- we're- camera? Help me. Uh, okay, good, good, good. Okay, can we backwards jump that? Can we? Can we? If I do it from there, it's gonna screw up. Mm. Okay, come on. Turn the camera where I need it. Uh, oh my gosh, you caught it. Thank you! Now oh, come on, was that so hard? Now just don't screw this up. Uh, oh, no, Mario, please! You idiot! You slidey, slidey bastard! Just grab the stuff and get up there, okay? I'm tired of this. Bowser's gonna win if you don't stop this. Jeez. What do you do, grease your stomach every morning? Here we go! Alright, we did it. We did it. Despite Mario's wishes of, like, him him clearly having a stake in us not doing it, we did it. Back in we go. Can Eel come out to play? Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Uh, so, I, I guess more memories of, uh, Mario 64 when I was younger. Um, I was terrified of this eel. Uh, because I still have a crippling fear of underwater and being underwater. Um, just pretty much any game that had, like, a monster underwater, basically. Or some kind of sea creature. Always just scared me to no end, basically. Um, I have played Subnautica before. Subnautica terrified me. And this guy terrified me as well. But, um, Subnautica especially got me. It spooks me super hard. Because it really taps in to that fear of, uh, the underwater. Alright, come on out to play. And we should be able to grab your star. Damn it. Okay. Okay, come here, come here. Come here. Come here. Your tail is, like, so weird, it's hard to actually get to where the star is. There we go. And then once you do get it off of this tail, you actually gotta swim over to the star as well. But yeah, uh, I'm scared of things underwater. Um, uh, Clanker and Banjo-Kazooie. Um, the eel in this, uh, Jack and Daxter has a creepy shark that comes after you. Um, Ape Escape, if anyone's ever actually played Ape Escape. Um, there's like a shark, there's sharks in that and stuff. So, yeah, it, it's just a big fear of mine. Uh, that I'm still just not super good with. I would love to play, um, I've already seen like a full LP of Subnautica and I've like played it completely myself. Um, it would maybe be something I would consider playing one day if people wanted it, but Subnautica Below Zero is supposed to be getting like completely released soon, so that's definitely up for grabs. And, uh, yeah, it would definitely... If you've seen me play a horror game, that is nothing compared to me playing Subnautica. I'm just so incredibly terrified of the deep ocean, like... Just looking down and it being, like, completely dark. And you hear things, but you don't see them. Like, that is, that is the worst fear for me. You can put me in a building with a serial killer, whatever. I would rather that than swimming away from a giant fish in the ocean that's trying to murder me. Uh, okay, I don't remember how you go. I think it's that, then this? No. Okay, it's that, and then the left one. Boom, boom, and then the right one. Yeah, and then this one. 
There we go. Pretty similar to the um, <clears throat> one inside the pirate ship. I've noticed uh, after, you know, watching further LPs of Mario 64 over the years and stuff that, uh, yeah, a lot of the missions do turn out being the same, but it, it's an old game and they did a fantastic job with what they were given, kind of pioneering 3D uh, game development and everything. It, it really is just a wonder for the time what they did with Mario. So this is the red coin mission, so I will probably be trying to get 100 coins in this mission as well. So we gotta keep an eye out for that. A lot of them are chilling in these stupid clams. So we'll have to grab those. Come on. Uh, one more. There you go, edge yourself over there. There we go. Okay, and you have a turtle shell, but... I mean a Koopa shell, not a turtle shell. What do I think this is, the real world? Um, so we gotta get a bunch of those. I think that's all the ones that are hanging out down there. I think we're good. Because I know there's quite a few in the clams. But there's also you. Let's talk to you to open up the, uh, cannon. Which is right over there. I remember for the longest time when I played this on the DS, um, I didn't know there was a cannon on this level. Like, I saw this bob -omb. And I knew he existed, but I was like, oh, there can't be a cannon on this level. I haven't seen a cannon the entire level. But yeah, there's a cannon right over there. And we want to get up here so we can jump off of it. And now we're going to go on our merry way over here. It is so incredibly weird to be playing this. In fact, to give you an idea of how certain I was that I probably wasn't going to be playing a Mario game for the foreseeable future, um, for Paper Mario the Origami King, I always just named those video files Mario. Like Mario 1, Mario 2, Mario 3, you know, what have you. Because I was like, well, I'm never going to play another Mario game, so I wouldn't have to worry about having a file that's the same name. And then I decided to play this. And I'm like, oh. Oh. Uh, well, I gotta name this something different, huh? So, the project file for these videos is star. Like, star one, star two, stuff like that. Because I was like, well, I can't just name it Mario 1, and I don't really feel like naming it, like, Super Mario All-Stars Part 1, so... We just named it that. Alright, there's another coin. And... There's another coin. Alright, I think that's most of the ones we can get here. What was that? I, like, hit a wall, even though there was nothing there? Weird. Okay, so now we go down here into the depths with, uh... The spooky, scary, uh, eel. And yeah, that was an interesting little thing. The clam hadn't rendered yet, but the red coin had. So I could see the red coin in the clam's mouth. Funnily enough. So yeah, now we just need to grab these. And then we gotta go in this room over here, and I think there's a blue coin switch in here, which should give us a lot of our coins. I remember the 100 coin mission on Jolly Roger Bay being particularly tight. Like, you, uh, can't really miss any, because there's not a lot around. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Come here, you. Smack. Alright, so... Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so we need... a few more. Hmm. Let's see... I'm not sure where I would get any more, really? Are there even coins in, um... Why is there an... Why is there a vanish cap in here? Ow. Okay, here's some more coins. Hmm... Okay, we have 90. But where am I supposed to get more? Hmm... I'm not really sure. Yeah, I know there's, like, basically just a hundred in Jolly Roger Bay. Did we miss you? We did miss you. Hmm. Okay, that appears to be everything in here, though. Maybe, maybe I missed some over here. Like, maybe by the eel, there's more coins, like, possibly on the bottom or something. And they just didn't render so that I could see them. Wait, was that even all the red coins? 
It was, wasn't it? I think so. For some reason, I'm, I, I was too busy talking, so I just didn't even pay attention to the fact of whether the red coin star actually spawned or not. I think it spawns down there, if I remember correctly. But... We need nine more coins. Oh, wait, no, that wasn't all of them, because there's one hiding right there. I thought I got you. Did I not? I did not. Okay, well, there's that star. Now the question is... Where do I get the rest of the coins? Is it inside the ship? I can't remember if you can go back inside the ship or not. And I don't even really know if there's any coins in there. And yeah, there's an obvious star just chilling right there. Uh, I don't think breaking these does anything. Like, I don't think you get any coins for breaking them. Okay, let's see if we can just go into the ship again. See if that does anything for us. Uh, no, it doesn't look like you can get back in the ship. Mm. Yeah, no, it doesn't seem to be working. Uh, okay, well, we might have to cut until I find some more coins, because evidently there's some somewhere, and I just don't know where they're at. Hmm, yeah, I forgot about these over here, but this is only three, so I still need four more. But where? Where are four more coins hiding? Not on those, like, pillar things up there, are they? I don't remember. I don't think they are. I can't really get close enough to render them to potentially see, though. Hmm. Aha! One, two, yeah, here they are. Jeez, they're around this thing. Okay. Finally. I was like, where are these things? And yeah, they were right there. And that seems like the only extras I have, so I think if I had, like, somehow didn't get the Goom... No, there was... There's enough that even if I missed the Goomba coins, I still would have had enough to get a hundred, but yeah, those were kind of hidden over there. I thought it had something to do with the, like, little spikes sticking up. Because I thought I remembered having the same problem before. But, uh, yeah. There we go. Now we just go up there and collect our red coin star. And we are good. It's, it's really, it's really, really difficult. Like, you have to try super hard to get mad at Dire Dire Docks because... The music is just so amazing. How could you ever be angry doing this? You could have me doing the most frustrating task ever, and this would just keep me calm. Here we go! Alrighty. So. Well, I say Dire Dire Docks, but no, Jolly Roger Bay. I always get them mixed up. This and, uh, Snowman's Land and, uh, Cool Cool Mountain. Uh, Blast to the Stone Pillar. All right, well, this one's easy, from what I remember. I can't actually think right now of what the- Oh, yeah, the last coin we need the uh, metal cap for, I believe. Because we got to, um... Get, uh... Through... Ah. I thought it would stick on- he would stick onto that. I guess, I guess I was too far down. Pretty sure that's how you're supposed to do that. Because, I mean, this is the only cannon in the place, so... Yeah, I remember doing this mission on the DS version, and I was like, wait, how am I supposed to do this? Because I didn't know there was a cannon. It's, it said blast, and I was like, but where's a cannon? Okay, maybe that. There we go. Jump, Mario. There we go. But yeah, the last one, the last star for this particular level is in the middle of that, like, jet stream that's at the bottom with the eel there, so... Um, I don't think we can do that one yet, because I'm pretty sure we need the metal cap, so... I guess... Hello, where do you go? If you go there, where do you go? I think... Do you both lead to the same place? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure one of the level... Yeah, yeah, you just give me a one-up. Alright. No, jump, Mario. Alright, so with that, I guess we're gonna go ahead and end this episode off here. We got the 100 coin star. 
in Bob on Battlefield, and we got the 100 coin star in Jolly Roger Bay. So next time, I guess we're going to go ahead and take on Cool Cool Mountain, and then we can go do something about Bowser up there. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Paper... Uh, paper... Oh, see, I almost said it. I almost said it. I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Super Mario 3D All-Stars, Mario 64 specifically, and I will see you next time.